Hi, Michelle from Solely Rested. Today I am unboxing and potting my new best favorite plants. And I'm actually making a Mother's Day present for my mother-in-law. These plants are succulents. Now I know this has been the rage for a while. For some reason it took me a while to get on the succulent plane or train. I don't know why. But when I recently got a package delivered from this company, oh they're so cute! I fell in love with these plants. I got two little jade plants and a little mini assortment of uh, echeveria. I believe they're called echeveria. And this company, by the way, it is Mountain Crest Gardens. I am in love with their product, with the way they package things, with their customer service. By the way, their packaging peanuts are actually water soluble, completely compostable, as of course this is compostable as well. And I'm going to put those in there and we're going to see what they're like after I'm done doing this because the first package I got, I couldn't believe how cool it was, how they really just dissolved into nothing in the water. Okay, so that's my plants. And then my mother-in-law loves to garden. And when I saw this on the website, I thought she would really like this. By the way, these come all the way. Oh, that's so cute. These come all the way from California, which is a long way for me because I'm in New England. But yet they arrive in two days and the way that they package these plants is so perfect that they come in beautiful condition. I mean, just look at that. These have been in a box for two days and they're just beautiful. Of course, succulents are amazing plants that can withstand a whole lot. So first thing I'm going to do, I have some rocks that I'm going to put in the bottom because it's very important for succulents to be able to get really good drainage. Their roots can't be left in the water and wet soil. I'm going to use potting soil because the succulents need very airy soil and you don't want to use a heavy dirt around the roots. I did bring in from my compost pile some wonderful black gold compost. By the way, if you are interested in composting and don't know where to begin, I have a composting course that's going to go live soon and all summer long I'm going to be writing about this wonderful black dirt of compost. So if you'd like to know more about that and how very easy it is to have your own, please check out Solely Rested for a lot more information. I also got some sand. I'm just going to mix the sand and the compost again to make it a light airy mixture for the succulents. And then on top of that, I'm going to use some potting soil. And it's just regular old potting soil. You can get some special mix just for succulents, but the ones that I had delivered this spring, I did this combination and it worked wonderfully for them. So I think just regular potting soil is A-OK -okay too. I want to get this nicely filled because I want my succulents sitting right on top. Let's see what their roots look like. They're so beautiful. Okay, so I have a lot of dirt here. Now if I want it, I could take this off. It's actually nice and light. It's really good dirt for the succulents, so I'm going to leave it. If you get your succulents at a nearby nursery, not a company like Mountain Crest um, gardens, which is, they're like the experts in succulents, but if you get them from a regular nursery, you might find that the dirt is a really um, dark, deep, heavy dirt that's not good for their roots. So in that case, you'd want to brush all the dirt off and just have your bare roots that you're putting down in your potting soil. But in this case, it's perfect. Oh, and look, it fits just right. The succulents are very hardy. If you want to separate them, I think I'll separate these. These are my two jade plants. They're very hardy, so you should be able to do that without a problem. And I want my pot to be nice and full looking. So I'm going to need to add a little more dirt around them. And then I'm going to put some pretty rocks on top. I tried to order, um, Mountain Crest Gardens has some beautiful, I need a little more dirt around those, has some beautiful 
uh, sea glass. And I was going to put some really pretty blue sea glass around the top because my mother-in-law loves blue. It would have been beautiful. Unfortunately, they were out of stock. Maybe a lot of people love it and it's really popular. So I couldn't get that. So instead, I'm just going to put some pretty rocks around them. If I can even see the dirt, they might like fill up this planter. We'll see. Tell you one thing I found I really love about succulents is they're so hardy. I don't know. I mean, yes, you can kill them, but boy, it's hard to not take care of them because they don't require a lot. I'm not going to water this when I'm done because you really want to let them set in their new environment, believe it or not, for a couple days before you water them. And then the cool thing about succulents is when you water them, you want to water them really heavy with water. I mean, get that soil soaked, which is why we put the rocks on the bottom, because you want that water to be able to drain down through the dirt and sit under the rocks so it's not going to rot the plant roots. Um, you want to really soak them, and then you don't think about them for two, three, maybe even four weeks. You can tell by looking at the leaves if they're in need of water, so you'll know if they need it before the month is up. So they're low maintenance, you don't need to do much. My mother-in-law, unlike myself, is fantastic with plants and she doesn't neglect any plants in her care, so I'm sure they'll do really well with her. Okay. Oh, it's so cute. I think she'll really like it and I can still see a little dirt. Actually, there's still a little hole here. If I did take the succulents out of all that dirt, if I had shaken all the dirt off, and I just had the bare roots, I would have used a small stick, like a chopstick size, and punched it down around the roots to open up the, the soil. So there are lots of nice pockets of soil because succulents like light soil, remember. But I didn't have to expose the roots and that soil was perfect, so I didn't need to do that step. All right, now I'm just gonna get some pretty rocks for on top, just so you can't see the potting soil. It just makes it look a little extra special. And since it's a mother-in-law gift for my very special mother-in-law, I, of course, want it to look special. So cute. Now, when I first got introduced to succulents, I reached out to Mountain Crest Gardens because I was having a very, very special community party in honor of my daughter. And I'll put a link to the post in the comments that explains more about the party. I have a little plant right here. This is one of the first ones that I received from Mountain Crest Gardens. And we had put them in little tiny pots to give away at the party as little party favors for everyone who came. And we put a little flag in there. The post will explain what the flag says and why. But just a cute little thing for each guest to take home. We wound up with a few extras that, you know, I was very happy to keep. Aren't they adorable? When I go to water my plant, I am going to put, not right now, but so I don't know why I'm opening it. I am going to put a little bit of compost tea on it because it has wonderful nutrients for the plants. You can also use plant fertilizer. I happen to make my own compost tea. I love it. It's so good for the plants. I will put a link. Actually, you know what? That post isn't quite ready yet. So I will put a link in the comments to my site in general, and then you can search for compost tea, for compost information of all kinds that will help you not just with succulents but with any plants that you're planting. That's just so cute. I think my mother-in-law will love it. So again, it's Mountain Press Gardens. Fantastic company. They'll get the plants to you in two days flat. The plants arrive beautifully. Oh, and if for any reason the plants don't arrive beautifully, they have a 14-day guarantee. I thought that was fantastic. And back to those compostable packaging peanuts. Look what happened to them. They're almost completely non-existent in just a few minutes of the water. So they are truly compostable packaging peanuts. Who would have thought? So not only does this company have great products, amazing packaging that's completely compostable and a 14 day guarantee, but you know, I'm in love with the plants too. So, so a few years ago, it dawned on me, and I'm sorry to say it took me that long for this to dawn on me, that Mother's Day isn't just about my mom or just about me as a mom, but there's another very special mom in my life that I didn't always recognize as much as I should, I think, and that would be my mother-in-law. So I wrote an open letter to my mother-in-law that I shared on the blog. One thing that I wanted to thank her for was the simple fact that long ago, she taught my husband, Bill, to hold a pencil, tie his shoes, 
use a glue bottle. All those simple little things, but you know, today his big burly hands can do such intricate things that are so valuable and important here around the homestead. And it all started with what she taught him when he was little. I also realized how important it was that when he was little, she had no qualms about the fact that he would get old appliances and take them apart, or old radios, one by one, and the pieces would be everywhere, and then his big challenge for himself was to put them back together. I mean, he loved doing this as a boy. And today, I can't tell you how valuable that skill is, that he is so mechanically inclined and so gifted at taking apart and putting back together things. It has saved us so much money and effort here on the homestead that he's able to do that. I also need to thank her more often that long ago she showed him the value of what a mom is and how because of that he values me in that role and it's been very important to him to support me as a homeschool mom for the last 18 years and he valued the little things and the big things that I did as mom that maybe he wouldn't have valued if his mom hadn't shown him how important that role is. She also was a wonderful mom in the fact that every single day, maybe it's the case with all teenage boys, but she had to more than nudge, maybe push him out of bed. <laughs> he didn't even hear the alarm going off, so I'm told. But every day she intentionally pushed him out of bed to get him on his way. And today, you know, I mean, he gets up before the sun some days and he's eager to, to do so and to provide for our family. I told you I homeschool, so we have lived on a single income all those years so that I could focus on raising the girls and homeschooling them and teaching them and a whole lot of other kids in co-op. Um, but the fact that when he was a teenager, she kept on pushing him. <laughs> he eventually got good at getting up and getting to work. And finally, you know, just the fact that she taught him to love life, to have those deep crinkles around his eyes that he had as a boy that he still has today, and that deep laugh, and just the, the way that he looks at life. It, it wouldn't be that way without his mom who loved him and encouraged him. So, I mean, it might all seem obvious, it might seem hokey, but I think we go without honoring our mother-in-laws the way we should. And I'm very thankful for mine. I sincerely hope that she finds this as beautiful as I do. And wow, I might have to order all this again to keep one for myself. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you are fascinated with succulents like I am. If you have more questions, if you want to know more about succulents, check out solelyrested.com and I will have links on there that point you in the right direction. I hope that everything is fantastic in your neck of the woods. And how far you can see. Okay, perfect. Dishering. <laughs>